right, day 41. 41 days of walking at least one mile every day. And uh, let me put the camera on, we'll get going. All right, day 41. Here we go, let me start the timer. Here we go. Gorgeous day out. Uh, about 74, 75 shorts. Nice sunny day, blue sky. Can't beat it. 41 days in a row. At least one mile every day. All right. See what's going on today. Put in your guesses how long you're going to do at least 1.15 miles today. Put in your guesses how long I'll walk, how long it'll take. <clears throat> Yesterday the camera cut off on me with about two minutes to go and then restarted. So I didn't get the, uh, didn't get to record the time on the camera but I did uh, did put it in the comments and in the, in the description so if you want to check that out if you're guessing so put in your guess today look at this cool little plant is it some type of succulent that blooms red I guess that's pretty cool I think I've noticed that before There's somebody working on the yard. I'll wait till I get past him. Talk a little bit more. Uh-oh. Uh, tons of cars. Gonna have to wait. Yeah. Wait till all the red lights change. Well, put down in the comments. How many days in a row you've walked? This is like the fifth day, 10th day, 20th day. How many days in a row? How far you walk? If you're doing a mile a day, half a mile a day. I'm trying to get across the street here. This is the most traffic I've seen in a while. Highways jammed with broken heroes. All right. I think the light's turning here. I'll be able to get across. All right, here we go. So nice out today. Yesterday was quite eventful. Yesterday, did the walk over to the uh, garage where they work on all the Ferraris and Lamborghinis, Maseratis. I saw like, I don't know, five, six, seven Ferraris, a couple Maseratis, an orange Lamborghini. Man, it was unbelievable. They have <coughs> new cars out every Every couple of weeks, they get cars shipped to them all over the world. Not just the country, all over the world. You guys, uh, I guess, world renowned. And uh, they always put up, they say they have new ones out every week or two. I was there about two, two or three weeks ago. And yesterday was a completely different set of cars. So if you want to watch that video, check out yesterday's video. Check out yesterday. And, uh, there were some classic cars too. Those, uh, those Maseratis were like classic race cars. And then, ah, oh, this wind is beautiful. It's so nice. And then they had uh, they had uh, some Ferrari, a couple of, now one, one Ferrari, and I, I wasn't familiar with it, but I looked it up when I got home. It was a 330 from, I think, 67. And apparently, <laughs> unbeknownst to me, 
that car was worth about six hundred thousand dollars so uh check that out yesterday apparently it's super super powerful and uh a classic i guess there's not many of them left what's going on up there i don't know if you can see it but a whole bunch of people in black robes like 20 of them i don't know where they're going some kind of coven event or something man i don't know if we'll get up there in time to see them probably can't see them on camera like 20 people dressed in black robes i don't know what was going on let's see if we can get up there and catch up but i don't I think I'll be able to uh, half a block away. Probably couldn't see them on the camera, but I could see them. I couldn't see what they were what they doing. A, I don't know what it was. Go up there and see them. They look like younger girls. Maybe it was just a... I don't know what it could be. It's not Halloween. We'll see if we turn this corner and see if we can see them walking down the way. There was about 10 or 12 of them. Let's see what we can see. I'm not going to get up there quite in time, I don't think. Or if I got to put the, uh, the number of dogs over under it. A couple nice dogs always barking up here. I don't know what they're doing down there. Hey, how you doing? They're too tired to bark today, huh? Huh? They're too tired to bark today, huh? These two? Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah. How are you doing today? I think that's the first time they've seen us. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, watch out for your teeth. Yeah. She'll take them out. <laughs> She's still got a lot of puppy in her. Yeah, you're not hey, too tired, huh? I got your stick. <laughs> All right, see you later. Now we'll try to catch up to these people in the robes. The labs. We live a couple doors down from where I just was and they always want to bark. They look pretty tired today. Well, we can catch up with these people in this robe up here. These robes, see where they're going. Maybe it's a cult or something. I don't know, maybe they're trying to recruit people come in their cult or maybe they're Scientologists. I don't know what they're doing. See if we can catch up to them. See where they're going. See what they're doing. Looks like they may have a police escort. No, maybe they're Nazis. Maybe, I don't know what they're doing. See if we can catch up to them. Try to pick up the pace and see what's going on. Maybe they're... Coven or something. I don't know. Going around trying to do something. Can't really read what it says on there. Getting close though. Maybe we'll catch up to them. They're all black. Like a goth or something. A goth club. Maybe they're just kids. Look like they're laughing. S C K O. I don't know what that means. Chinese, Excuse me. Sorry. Looks like they were. Born. I guess they were from. Looked like they were from uh, China. <laughs> I don't know S C K O. I don't know what that means. But from uh, from afar, they look like they were all in black. But I guess they look more like velour robes. Now they look like they're all going to 7-Eleven. They're gonna get a, a, a 
smoothie or something. Slurpee. Huh. Guess they're just Chinese kids. I don't know. I didn't talk to them. They did say, I said sorry when I cut through and they did say sorry, but it looked like the writing on their robes were Chinese. It was in Chinese. So maybe they're just uh, visiting. I saw on the news where a lot of Chinese people were coming across the border illegally in San Diego now that they cut down the uh, they stopped it in Texas they're all coming through San Diego so but they didn't look like that they look like they had it's part of a group of some sort maybe they were some type of uh, tour group I think it said SKCO I don't know what that is comment below if you know maybe just some kind of Chinese tour group I guess I don't know <laughs> there's always something on these walks never know what you're gonna see radically different from yesterday with all the the Ferraris and the almost hot today like 70 at least 74 I'd say but the, that uh, talking about yesterday that said Jay Leno sometimes brings his cars there to be worked on so, I don't know. Jay Leno, if you're watching, maybe you invite me to come to your garage so I can see all the cars you have. Here he's got like 150 cars or something. But the difference between uh, his garage and a lot of people that collect cars is they put them in a warehouse and they never drive them. But apparently he likes to... Uh, He'll drive all of his cars. They're all in working condition, which is pretty cool. Love to go to his garage and see his cars and go for a ride in a couple of them. I think he has a show, what's called Jay Leno's Garage. That celebrities come and they go for a ride in his cars and stuff. He used to work on that uh, soap opera, Days of Our Lives. And uh, they would shoot right next to well, maybe two stages down from where Jay Leno, when he was on The Tonight Show, when he hosted The Tonight Show, they used to shoot there where Johnny Carson used to. Jay Leno took over his spot in Burbank. Beautiful downtown Burbank. And uh, whenever I got finished shooting on Days of Our Lives, I'd go over to, to see, uh, see who was on Jay Leno that day. And that was always interesting. He would... So the funny thing was he would drive, he'd wear the same clothes every day into the studio, wear blue jean, blue jeans and a blue jean shirt, like every day. But he'd drive a different car. So he'd wear the same clothes but drive a different car. And uh, <clears throat> so I'd always go over there and see who was on the show and uh, what kind of car he was driving in. He would have all kinds of cars. It's a, it's a, what did he have? Like a steam engine one time he drove in there and it always had velvet ropes around it. So like some of the cars I think were over a million dollars. He had a, oh, what was that one car? Sometimes a, they were all like exotic cars. I'm trying to think of that one. It was like over a million dollars. It was a, I can't think of it now, but I remember the steam engine once he drove. It looked like a, uh, destroying this house over here. It's already all cut down. Look at this. Big mound of dirt. Pretty much destroyed. All gone. That's 
It's an empty lot. Look at that. Huh. Uh, I'll probably think of the car before the walk is over. But he would have all kinds of different cars there. Always drive a different car. And then there's always uh, several times I always see uh, the musical group there, whoever the musical group would be rehearsing. And uh, I watched one time, you could kind of watch them off stage. They'd have the big doors open. Uh, Dixie Chicks went back, way back when, when they were super popular, I saw them. So I uh, went to saw Rod Stewart rehearsing. Um, he had a maroon Rolls Royce parked out front and his driver was out there wiping it down. I remember seeing that. And um, when Rod Stewart was there, I went in and I snuck in uh, the side door when he was gonna perform. Cause it's just a whole gang of people just going in and I just snuck in with them and got to see him perform. So that was kind of fun. I didn't get thrown out. When he finished, I just left. But there was like, you know, 15, 20 people, a big rush, so I just went in with them. And then, uh, who else did I see? Oh, I saw, uh, it was funny, one time, I, it's, there was a soul asylum. There's somebody sitting in their car. Always somebody sitting in their car. I don't know what they do. Look at their phone, I guess, just enjoy the car. Um, see if the yellow lab is out today. This is his house. No, we got the door shut and nobody around. And over here is the bulldog. See if he's around. Nope, no dogs here either. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Guess that's pretty much it. Guess we'll turn around and head back. I already went over almost a mile so far. Just sold. All right. So uh, I was uh, oh I was there and uh, Soul Asylum was performing the Jay Leno show and. Uh, there was a tour group going by <clears throat> and I was outside and the, the guys were, you know, those guys looked like they were construction workers or grunge type. They were just like in flannels and jeans and they didn't, they just looked like they were workers and they were sitting outside the steps uh, when the tour group walked by. The tour group, and they were just, they were just hanging out and nobody knew who they were. The tour group had no idea who they were. Didn't stop to see him or say hello, get an autograph, nothing. They just walked right on by him. I thought it was so funny. Because they had no idea who they were. I just thought they were workers or something, but. <clears throat> what was that song they had? It was a pop real popular hit, Downbound Train, I think was the name of it. They were really popular there for a while. <clears throat> That's all I really remember seeing is a, I'd always go over there and look at his, what kind of car he was driving. Dixie Chicks, Rod Stewart, Soul Asylum. I don't really remember seeing any celebrities hanging around outside, but I'd see the musical groups rehearse. I saw other ones too, but I probably didn't know who they were. There was uh, always something going on over there. They, they usually sh uh, would shoot the show around, it was 3.30, 4 o'clock, 4.35, and that would be a lot of times what time I was finishing up on Days of Our Lives. And just walk down there, and uh, you could just look in and stuff once you got into the, onto the lot. Uh, you could kind of have a roam of the place and go wherever you wanted to on the lot. Nobody paid too much attention, so just go over there and see who was on the show for the day. It's always a big bonus for working on the show. That was almost more fun than working on the show.
beautiful downtown Burbank, California. Johnny Carson would always make fun of it. Smog and stuff, but when I was there, I didn't really notice that much smog. I think they kind of cleaned it up. I got a St. Patrick's Day flag with the peanuts. See if you can see it. Snoopy <laughs> Woodstock on a pot of gold. Look at that. St. Patrick's Day. I'm about a few weeks behind in posting these videos, but St. Patrick's Day is still a month away. There's a white Ford Bronco. It's like a, that's made a video the other day as I saw a sky blue one, but OJ was in a white Ford Bronco going down the 405. The Al Cowlings. People didn't know if OJ was gonna kill himself or what. A slow, slow speed stay, slow speed chase on the 405. In a white Ford Bronco. Now they stopped making those for a long time. It's in '94, and now they're they're making them again. And, Seemed to be pretty popular. A neighbor bought one and I saw the sky blue one yes, uh, a few days ago. And uh, I've seen several of them. That's the first white Ford Bronco I've seen. There goes a runner. Do, 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 do. Just don't see that many runners. Now I go down to the beach, I saw quite a few runners. May go down there tomorrow, I don't know. I've been down there in a couple weeks, go down to Manhattan. I was down to Hermosa. So if you wanna see those videos, check that out. That was a couple of, a couple three weeks ago. A lot of runners down there, but I don't really see a lot of runners. When I do this mile walk, I'm lucky if I see one. What have we seen already? Saw a couple of black labs. They didn't bark at me today. They wanted to be petted. So we saw the people in the black robes that I thought was a cult or something, but I guess they were just Chinese girls in a tour group, I guess. I don't know, I didn't ask them. I did walk through them. They did say said sorry. They said sorry. So I guess they understood uh, some English. S. What was it? S K C O. Something. Some honeysuckle blooming. It probably smells good. I walked by that. Oh yeah, it smells gorgeous. Beautiful. It's so nice. I didn't think the honeysuckle bloomed for a couple more weeks or so, a month. But maybe with all the rain, it's blooming early this year. It smells beautiful. It's so nice. Almost hot today. I am getting kind of warm. Got on a long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt and shorts. I feel like you could take this long sleeve shirt off. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna see on these walks. This car stopped. Let's see if he's gonna turn in here. Only two dogs. That I'd be accused that I'd see a couple more anyway. What's this guy doing? He's cutting up a tree or something. Got a tree. Cut her up with chip mate. Huh. It's like it's not that a 
effective. There's a bigger motor. Got little bitty branches going in there. Well, if you're new to the channel, you're still watching, hadn't started walking yet, come and join. I used to watch that show, uh, The Biggest Loser. Right? People sit down and watch, watch the show and eat. <laughs> a lot of people did that. Instead of working out, they'd eat. And, uh, they weren't that, they got, I guess they got motivated to start working out and stuff so hopefully this channel another red door a couple dogs get you motivated to get out and walk a mile a day hello <laughs> hey buddy hey buddy Hey, buddy. <laughs> the French Bulldog? Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, you don't want to be left out either, huh? He's a good boy, huh? So friendly. Those are good dogs. Cute. <laughs> Have a good day. Three friendly dogs. French Bulldogs are always so cute. Nice. But five dogs today, so he didn't get over. Uh, let's see here. Get across the street. So yeah, if you haven't started uh, walking yet, write down your goal. Just get started. If you want to just do a half a mile a day or a mile every other day, this the key is getting going. And you write down your goal in the comments check back every day write down what you did see other people doing it helps keep you motivated I said there were a few days two days in a row where it was raining last week where I know I would not have the Mercedes uh, Jeep or something interesting V8. <laughs> I would not have walked if uh, I didn't have the channel. But I got out and walked and kept the streak alive. 41 days in a row. Let's see if I can get to 60. Get to 60. Uh, people like the channel, subscribe, want to keep going. Maybe I'll do another. 30 or so, but already a third, two thirds of the way to 60. So I'll probably make it to 60. Say if you can do uh, something for 14 days in a row, it's a habit, and then you keep it up. So it's 60 days. So if you haven't started, just try, try to do it for a week and then try to do two weeks. And if you do it for two weeks, you probably keep it going. And I'll be posting a a new video every single day so keep checking back every day there'll be a new video you want to see the all the exotic cars check out yesterday's video that was fun and uh it's about two weeks ago i went there they went there for the first time on the channel it's a whole bunch of completely different cars yesterday huh almost hot 
Definitely could have done short sleeves today. Look at her. I think it's supposed to be pretty nice again tomorrow and then it said it might rain on Monday. Oh boy. Yeah, I can catch part of the day where it's not raining where I can get out and walk. Not in the rain. One day the umbrella blew inside out about eight times and walked out on my shoe. It was something. I checked those out there a few days ago. Two days in a row of rain. All right. Going to be at about 150, one, one, almost one and a half, a little bit over one and a half today. You should give the exact number if you're playing along with the guesses. Here comes a car. All right, all right, and that's it. So if you guessed 1.56 miles in 30 minutes and 51 seconds, you are the winner. There's Ranger, what are you doing, buddy? Meow, you come out to say hello? Did you eat your food? Is it good? Was it good? Yeah? You have a good day today, huh? Come on. There's another runner. Come on back in, dude. You just came out to say hello, huh? All right. All right. All right, that's it for today. Subscribe, check out some of the other videos. Give it a like, then come back tomorrow. Do another video tomorrow and that's it. Bye.